Let's speak about workhorse, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor, and I got the hoodie to prove that fact. And today, we are speaking about our favorite company, Workhorse baby. It's been a crazy week or so for this company. News has been popping out left, right and center. The markets have been going insane in general. And as always, there is more news that needs to be spoken about in regards to this company. So of course, we're going to speak about the recent price action because some pretty crazy stuff has been going on. We will touch on the fact that the fiscal year has ended and no contract has been announced. We will touch briefly off of what we can now see on the GSA website. You know, should that be getting us excited or is it just another piece of news? We're going to speak about the charge act that was just signed by Trump literally yesterday. We're also going to speak about another executive order that was signed by Trump. That's in regards to rare metals mining. And there's also just a few points I want to refresh your memory on in regards to what this contract is actually for. You know, what the whole purpose of it is because we can't lose track of that. So that's what we're going to speak about today, my friends. So guys, right before we get into the video, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? It really does help the channel out. I would appreciate you a lot. If you're new around here, what are you waiting for, my friend? Hit that juicy red subscribe button, baby. We're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. Uh, please drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know what you think about Workhorse. You know, are you still holding? Are you trimming positions? Are you buying more juicy shares? Let me know down below. And also, I usually say this at the end of the videos, but if you want to join up to become a patron, now is the best time to do it. You get charged the first of every month, so it makes sense to do it early on in the month. We'll chat about that more at the end of the video, but it's a juicy community with over 350 patrons. Like the video, or else I'm coming for you. So the first thing we need to do, my friends, is briefly take a look at the stock chart first of all, as we always like to start these videos off. Now, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, and it hasn't been the best by any means, but I mean, still, if we look on the monthly chart, Workhorse is still up 32%, my friends. Now, so be it. Yes, we were up as much is 61% but on the monthly chart it's still looking absolutely fantastic and I mean even on the five day chart we're still in the green a little bit now anything could happen today it's looking to be a terrible day in the market in general and I think we all know how EV moves when we're having a bad market day we, we're exaggerated you know EV generally sells off worse and you know goes up faster and the broader EV market is definitely selling off today but I do believe that is just because the broader market is selling off today it could have something to do with the fact that Trump has Roni or it could just be one of those days you know we don't need to over analyze it. So yeah, we can see on the one one chart there's been some very clear big down moves alongside some very clear big up moves. But what I want to show you guys is some very weird looking lines on this chart here. So I actually covered this in yesterday's video, but I mean look at this in a span of about 15-20 minutes, we went from $25.35 a share all the way down to pretty much $22 exactly in literally 15 to 20 minutes. That is not the work of retail investors, okay? They, they don't have the power to do that. Me or you do not have enough shares to make that happen. It simply is not possible. So this quite clearly is institutions. And then what's really interesting is what happened after. After it happened, the stock price went right back up. Now, in fairness, we did dip back down, okay? But I mean, it looks like manipulation to me. It looks like the institutions want cheaper shares. And then look, Another example of it right here, okay? We we're at 25.55 a share. Within five minutes, okay, we were down to 23.30 a share. Again, that's not something that the everyday investor can do. I do think it's worth realizing this, guys, though, because I mean, it does look like a very, very manipulated stock right now, which obviously in the short term isn't ideal, but it does in a weird way, somewhat filled me with confidence that there's more institutions wanting to buy. And I mean, we can see for a fact more institutions have been buying. ARK, of course, are one that everybody loves to speak about. I mean, you more than likely all know, you know, they now have pretty much 740 thousand shares total they've been buying continually you know they were buying at the highs they've been buying on the major dips they've just been buying a whole lot of shares so the price action is odd and i did actually say yesterday that the sell-off yesterday to be honest closing down 0.8 percent i was very surprised i thought it was going to be a worse day now the market was up in general so that definitely would have helped kept workhorse stock up but i mean it was the end of the fiscal year and i really did think that a lot of short-term traders a lot of swing traders were going to get out of the market and i know some did because i got some comments i got some messages saying people did so i think yesterday was actually a fine day all in all we actually didn't do badly by any means whatsoever in fact we outperformed the majority of the ev market but anyway right that's the recent price action a few more things we need to speak about of course so i'm only going to touch on this very briefly because i think everybody and the entirety of youtube has covered this at this stage so workhorse's number has indeed been listed on this website right here the gsa the u.s general services administration which you know could be quite big because this is where you go if you're involved in a government contract which of course would be the usps contract so right off the bat you think wow that is super super exciting get in there now the thing is guys i'm not as excited as a lot of other people have been 
We don't know exactly what this means, okay? Also, this is a very old number. If you try to call it, you can't even get through. If you Google it, it comes up some Winnebago page for the workhorse chassis. I think this has been blown out of proportion. Now, what I will say is that it can't be bad news. Because if it isn't anything to do with the USPS contract, it shows that workhorse has worked with the government before. You know what I mean? So, win either way. But just don't be getting too excited about this yet. We don't know exactly what it means. It's extremely speculative. Nobody can tell you exactly what this means. I just want to make that very clear. It's all speculative at this point, okay? And I know we speculate in regards to workhorse at all, but we also have to you know, give both sides of the story, this could mean very, very little. Now, it could mean a massive thing, but let's not get excited yet until we know exactly what it's going to mean. Now, with that being said, I was sent this by one of my Discord members, and you know who you are, my man. So this is when Workhorse registered as an entity on sam.gov. You can see the activation date was March 30th, 2020. So with that being said, this number wouldn't have been on here unless they were registered. So we can assume that this is a relatively new update, so maybe it is leading to, you know, a relatively new government contract that we may not be aware of yet but again even with that information i do not want to get too excited people because we don't know exactly what it means we already speculate enough about this company we're already betting on enough short-term prospects let's not add another one into the mix that we have to worry about let's just see how this plays out that's the way i'm playing this news right here we don't need to blow this out of proportion and make it something bigger than it actually is which i know a lot of the time workhorse investors do the other thing is when you look at this form okay entity start date march 1st 2007 Initial registration date, July 19, 2010. Activation date, okay, March 30th, 2020. Expiration date, March 25th, 2021. So, I mean, what falls within that time period, my friends? Especially if we didn't know it was going to be prolonged due to the Roni USPS contract. But again, let's not focus too much on this. That's where I'm going to leave that. Now, the next thing I would like to point out is this. Yesterday, the Charge Act was signed by Donald Trump. So, you'll see here the summary of the act. This bill requires the General Service Administration, the GSA, to issue one guidance to clarify that federal agencies may use a charge card to pay to charge federal electric motor vehicles at commercial charging stations and two a charge card for such payments to each agency for each of the agency's electric motor vehicles okay now this is something that could be absolutely massive it's another incentive for government bodies to use electric vehicles and the timing of it seems quite uncanny so i mean this would mean that for example the usps to go fully electric could end up making them a considerable amount of money but it could also mean good things for other companies i mean sbe for example charge point this could incentivize the government to take on more electric vehicles in general and could lead to a company like charge point doing well so this definitely is a very exciting piece of news no two ways about it now again it doesn't guarantee anything it doesn't guarantee the usps contract is going to go to the only all electric player but the timing of it does seem quite convenient and the fact that Trump was speaking with Lord's Town Motors only a few days before this got signed I mean yeah it kind of connect the dots it starts to make a lot of sense well we can see Congressman Rokan okay clean energy is the future of the American economy air pollution from vehicles and smokestacks cost 200,000 early deaths every year in this country the United States government should be taking every opportunity to support green technology starting with its own travel policies this is a simple but effective fix to support American factories health and innovation so yeah you definitely can see how an act like this would massively benefit the US government in much 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 more ways than just one it's deeper than just federal agencies being able to use a card to pay to charge their electric vehicles it's going to help the world of healthcare etc etc we can see Rokana put it into very simple to understand times right here by making it easier for the government to operate electric vehicles it would also incentivize the purchase of additional evs and boost american electric vehicle manufacturing and this has been signed off this is a thing so i mean now the government is more incentivized than ever to purchase ev vehicles it makes a lot of sense people that's all i'm trying to say you know i'm not trying to say anything else it's just to me personally makes a lot of sense next thing i would like to say is this trump executive order targets rare earth minerals and china so on wednesday donald trump signed an executive order declaring a national emergency in the mining industry aimed at boosting domestic production of rare earth metals critical for military technologies while reducing the country's dependence on China. So, I mean, this is a big thing. You know, Trump doesn't want to depend on Chinese companies. They need these rare earth minerals for military tech. We also need rare earth minerals for electric vehicles, for the batteries. So, Trump ordered his cabinet secretaries to study the matter with an eye toward government grants for production equipment, as well as tariffs, quotas, or other important restrictions against China and other non-market foreign adversaries. So, this could be good, you know, for American-owned rare earth mining-related companies, which in turn could be good for 
all electric vehicle companies. Now, these are also using consumer electronics like cell phones, your computers, etc, etc. You'll see as of right now, the US imports 80% of these elements directly from China, with portions of the remainder indirectly sourced from China through other countries. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool executive order to see being passed. I think it is going to be exciting for the world of EV, obviously more so the mining companies, but it's cool. Again, it's all intertwined. It's all a little piece of the puzzle that is workhorse stock. You know what I mean? Okay, next thing. I think we went through this on the channel a considerable period of time ago but there's just a few points i want to bring up so remember this the audit report from the delivery vehicle acquisition strategy of obviously the usps now this was back from august 12th so it's somewhat old news but it's just a refresher of what they're actually looking for just remember the postal service mission okay is to provide reliable and affordable universal mail delivery and postal retail services to the us workhorse can sell in every state of the US, which is important in regards to EV. So again, read in between the lights, provide reliable and affordable universal mail delivery. So in regards to reliability, that's the strategic partnerships we see workhorse forming. That's Hitachi, that's Duke Energy. And then affordable, that's one of the big reasons you go electric. And then you see something like the Charge Act being passed and it just becomes even more affordable. Now this is the next thing I wanna bring up, okay? The Postal Service plans to purchase 37,768 commercial off-the-shelf vehicles, blah, 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 over a three-year period beginning in fiscal year 2020. So I mean, this has to be happening now. I mean, literally right now. Which of the three competitors that are left in the race are hiring the most staff right now out of interest? Well, I mean, Ford recently laid off a whole lot of staff and also have a disgusting amount of debt that could run them to the ground and workhorse is hiring more than likely 200 plus new employees. Again, it's just one of those pieces of the puzzle. Read between the lines, put the pieces together, my friends. Now look, it's shaping up to be a terrible day, okay? Pre-market right now, I'm recording, what, four hours before the market opens, we're down five and a half percent. Again, it does look like there was some sort of manipulation in the after hours and when that happened yesterday, we took an initial run to the upside. Anything could happen, I'm not worried about it. Do you believe in this company for the long term or are you betting on a USPS contract being announced by the 14th of October? I mean, we are speaking about two very different things right there. If you're a long-term investor like me, nothing to worry about in my opinion. Everything that we've ever spoken about in regards to this company still stands. They've gone from strength to strength to strength over the last three, four, five months. There is a reason this company is doing so well, and it's because they are handling everything that's thrown at them impeccably. It's workhorse, baby. It's a high-risk, high-reward play. I think I've been making that extremely clear lately. If you're not able for the volatility, if you're not able for the risk, this is not the company for you. Go look into your dividend stocks. But if you're willing to hold through the good and the bad days, I think it's offering a beautiful opportunity in the market, baby. And yeah, to make things clear, I'm holding these guys long, contract or not. If we get the contract, that would be the least likely situation in the world that I sell any workhorse. But anyway, guys, that is workhorse. If you have watched until the end of the video, you, my friend, are a true legend, and I really do appreciate you being here from the bottom of my heart. You are helping me out so much, so just... Thank you for being here, my friend. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to give you some value and insight and just some useful information in regards to the company that is Workhorse. I'm just as happy as I always have been in this company. And as I already said, I plan on holding them for a very, very juicy long time, baby. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you now to hit that like button, drop me a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. All of that helps me out so, so much and we are trying to get to 50,000 subs. And again, if you are interested in joining the private Discord group, please do hit that first link in the description. It will bring you to my Patreon and you sign up through there and you will get access to my buy and sell alerts, new ticker symbols to watch, individual chats for each stock we speak about. It genuinely is an amazing community and I would love to see you in there. But anyway, guys, I will see you for another video very soon. Have a fantastic fantastic day. Peace.